Andy Jones here for Access RV. Access RV is home of the Truck Camper Superstore and we are your Truck Camper Authority. Access RV is also your headquarters for travel trailers, fifth wheels, and even teardrop trailers. But the thing that I'm most proud about at Access RV is our sales department. We have a very different philosophy here at Access RV. We believe that an educational process over a high pressure, pushy sales process wins every day of the week. We spend a lot of time and a lot of money sending our salesmen to the different factories, letting them learn the product, and, and focusing heavily on how a product is made and what you, the consumer, are going to buy. Come down to Access RV if you like a great experience, you like to learn about the product you're actually going to purchase, and you like to see lots and lots of different options. Hi folks, I am so excited to show you one of my favorite truck camper manufacturers uh, on the planet, Adventure. These guys are extremely innovative, they have lots of different floor plans for lots of different trucks. Um, I'm going to do things a little bit differently today. We've seen a lot of videos where people walk around and they point out a where your propane goes and point out where your uh, hot water heater is. I'm not going to do that. Today I want to talk about the nuts and bolts. I want to talk about what makes it great and why you're going to want to buy an adventure truck camper. One of the things that I want to point out right off the bat is that adventure truck campers are four season insulated. Um, today we're using the Adventure 80 GS and they have a full line of truck campers. So what I want to do is kind of talk in general uh, where some things kind of should translate over through uh, across the brand so that maybe if you're not interested in a half ton truck maybe you've got a one ton and you want one with double slides and a king bed uh, the stuff that we talk about today should translate over um, because of its construction they use what they call a TCC a true composite construction because of that with their four, four season insulation Adventure is actually the number one selling truck camper in all of Canada. I want you to think about that. Canada has a lot of extreme weathers. They have beautiful weather, they have cold weather. Adventure is the number one choice uh, for people in that area. And that says a lot about the manufacturer. When you go up there, and I've been up there lots of, lots of times, you see Adventure is all over the road. Now the nice thing here for us in the States Adventure is made in Yakima, Washington, and they're the fastest growing truck camper manufacturer in all of America. Now let's talk about TCC for a moment, True Composite Construction. Adventure uses a wood frame on their non-slide models. They use an aluminum frame on their slide-out models. They have a couple of different choices for you. Um, the discussion here is the same with the way. I've got a cutout here that kind of explains what's going on. On the outside, they use a Lamlux 4000 gel coat fiberglass. It's one of the thickest cuts of fiberglass you can get. Plus, it's a, because of the way it's designed, it's shiny. You can actually see your reflection in it. And uh, it's going to maintain its integrity for years and years to come. Other fiberglass, like uh, other brands, use Phylon which after a few years, you've seen them. They're, they're two or three years old, maybe four years, and now all of a sudden they look yellow or creamy because the fiberglass is faded. That's not going to do that. On the inside, or on the inside wall, they use cell block foam insulation. It's a much thicker, denser block foam. This is excellent for uh, weather extremes. It's excellent for the, the hot nights, uh, keeping cool inside. It's also excellent for cold nights, keeping it warm. Again, Adventure Four Season Insulated. And then we have our framing inside, and then through on the inside, we've got our wall board. So that's kind of a basic uh, description of their TCC construction. So one of the things that I think is important when we talk about construction is to distinguish how different Adventure is from a lot of other manufacturers. These guys do things that other people, if they haven't thought about, they're not doing it, and it's crazy. I just got back from uh, Yakima, Washington, where Adventures are made, and I, and I toured their facility. And I gotta tell you, if you're ever there, you need to do it. It's uh, very impressive. They're uh, impeccable, they have an attention to detail that's second to none, uh, and they, they clearly show every phase of the construction process, so you get to see how these are made. And they do things that, like I say, other manufacturers don't do. For instance, like this window right here. Um, other manufacturers will put their fiberglass up, 
cut a sidewall out, and then mount the window in directly as it is. Kind of like this wall cut out right here. So they're attaching this window just to block foam insulation inside. Well, imagine what happens of driving down the road four or five years later. You have to assume that this window is going to shake loose. Adventurer red flags that and actually frames in all their windows. So you have a solid window structure. The next phase of the construction process that I think is important that you should know about is their quad seam uh, system. Each of their seams along the exterior of the camper are lined and sealed with uh, pewter. Other manufacturers use putty tape. Now, again, sealing it with a much stronger adhesive to go inside versus putty tape. Four years down the road, your camper's been driving. Do you really want putty tape inside holding all of your exterior seams and seals? You absolutely don't. So, butyl on the uh, inside and then a silicone finish. It's a much nicer, cleaner, elegant look. Other manufacturers use the goop, put it on, and then you got uneven goop spread all the way throughout. Butyl, silicone, much better system. So I, I've had the opportunity to go to all the factories. I've seen how all the truck camper manufacturers build their campers. And I was kind of blown back a little bit when I went into Adventure and uh, watched this next part that I want to tell you about. Most manufacturers, when they hang their walls, they literally hang them and screw them in, right? And, and connect them. Adventure actually has a piece that fits over the floorboard with a lip on the outside. That wall board that they hang sits on the lip. So every wall is actually secured in position with a lip underneath it before it's screwed in. Certainly impressive and over the top than anybody that I've seen. Now, in my opinion, a major selling point for uh, you is certainly the roof. They use a one-piece seamless TPO roof. TPO stands for thermal polyolefin. Um, essentially what it is, is it's a rubber roof on steroids, if you will. It uh, will not expand, it will not contract with climate changes. So I don't know if you know this, a lot of RVs, uh, trailers, and truck campers in particular, use a rubber membrane roof. Rubber will expand and contract when it gets hot or cold, on the extreme side of that. And what that does is that starts to, when it expands and contracts, it pulls against the seams at the top. That's where leaks come from. So by putting a virtually maintenance-free roof on that will not expand, will not contract, just saved you a lot of money in repair and upkeep. Now, not only am I impressed with Adventurer's TCC construction, I know you will be too, but Adventurer believes in it and they back it up. They're the only manufacturer I know of, period, that does a three-year structural warranty. That's absolutely huge. They're saying, you know what, we make a great product and we stand behind it. Other really important features that you can count on with Adventure, all LED lights, so you have virtually no battery pull whatsoever. When you turn the lights on, uh, your batteries last a lot longer than they did with the traditional light bulbs. You're also going to have a friction hinge door on the back, uh, which is great in the windy days. And then you're going to have all insulated and ducted heating tanks. Or, or holding tanks, I'm sorry. Again, four season rated. Adventurer also uses very elegant uh, features on the inside. They have nice finish. Uh, in fact, they build their own cabinetry right there on site. They use seamless countertops, so you don't have to worry about the uh, seams ripping, bubbling, or tearing. It's all one piece wrap. They do the same thing on their tabletops as well. And again, this is the Adventurer 80GS. They have lots of floor plans. This one's designed for a short bed, half ton truck. Uh, and it's uh, really kind of a, a unique model because it's got a slide out. It's got a 12 inch slide for a half ton truck. All right, I know this was a shorter video, but let's recap all the, the, the great things that Adventure does. And, and remember, better construction, better quality, better product. We started the roof, we have the TPO roof, won't expand or contract. 
We have the Lamalux 4000 gel coat fiber rods, which by the way, Adventurer has their own lamination plant. It's temperature controlled, it's humidity controlled, they actually pump moisture in, uh, and that guarantees a 100% coverage when they're gluing the fiberglass to the, the backer. Um, you've heard about products that have delaminated or bubbled. That comes from not having 100% coverage. With their temperature controlled, humidity controlled lamination plant, which by the way in Yakima in the middle of winter, that's probably the most desired job in the whole factory is to work in that uh, facility. You're going to have the best fiberglass out there. Inside we've got either wood or uh, aircraft grade aluminum for your uh, framing, cell block foam insulation, better insulation, better sound prevention. We've got our framed windows, nobody else is doing that. We've got our quad seams, and biggest of all, three year structural warranty. Uh, if you'd like to come and see them, come on down. We keep lots and lots of them in stock. My name's Andy Jones, and thanks for watching.